Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. What is the value of the following fraction? The fraction is in the shape of a triangle. It has 10 rows. The very bottom row is equal to 1, and every row above it is one more than the previous row. That's part one of the question. Part two, consider this type of fraction where we have an even number of rows. What will the fraction approximately be equal to if we let the number of rows go to infinity? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Let's get started by evaluating 1 plus 1 all over 1. This is equal to 2, and we'll call this a2. Now let's consider the fraction with 4 rows. This is equal to 4 divided by 3 divided by a2. This is equal to 4 times 2, because a2 is equal to 2, all over 3. Notice we have a kind of pattern. 4 times 2 is 4 factorial, except we've skipped every other number. And we have 3 times 1, which is 3 factorial, except we skip every other number. This is written in shorthand as 4 double factorial and 3 double factorial. So a4 is equal to 4 double factorial divided by 3 double factorial. What about a6? This is equal to 6 divided by 5 over a4. a4 is equal to 4 double factorial divided by 3 double factorial. Substituting in, we get 6 times 4 times 2 all over 5 times 3. So this is equal to 6 double factorial over 5 double factorial, and that's equal to a6. So if we continue this pattern, we'll see that a2k is equal to 2k double factorial all over 2k minus 1 double factorial. So we want to evaluate a10, which is equal to 10 double factorial divided by 9 double factorial. With careful calculation, this is equal to 256 divided by 63 which is approximately equal to 4.06. But we have a fun surprise in this problem. The ratio 2k double factorial divided by 2k minus 1 double factorial asymptotically is equal to the square root of pi times k. So let's imagine we wanted to take this fraction and evaluate a of 1000. This is equal to 1,000 double factorial divided by 999 double factorial. This will be very difficult to compute, but we can use the asymptotic approximation to see this will approximately be equal to the square root of 500 pi, which is approximately equal to 39.633. If we put the double factorials in something like Wolfram Alpha, we'll get the exact value is approximately equal to 39.643. So we can see the asymptotic approximation is pretty good, and we don't have to calculate these very complicated double factorials. But this is a very fun surprise that we were just calculating fractions and pi came out of nowhere. Wow! Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.